It's five months into this G-side, and there's still people acting like this is normal. Everything is normal, and I'm tired. I'm tired that five months of disease, famine, and our people being killed in the most humiliating, brutal ways, and people still think it's complex to talk about something else. I wish I could talk about something else. I wish I lived in a world where I could just make a meme Jojo video and feel good with myself. Unfortunately, every day I see mutilated bodies, stories of families being wiped out in one instance, human beings treated like animals, forcing them into starvation so that they fight among themselves for little slivers of Fortnite loot box aid. Just to have western journalists write about how barbaric these people are as if they deserve this. As if Jeff from Massachusetts can remain civilized in traffic to LA fitness, let alone remain civilized during starvation and mass killing. Imagine your home was bombed. Multiple family members killed. Imagine you were blockaded in an area raining with bombs every night where all sources of electricity is cut off by your subjecting government. Imagine every day smelling the stench of decomposing bodies. Imagine all your water being contaminated by a mixture of rain and decomposed bodies causing disease. Imagine having disease but being unable to get treatment because the few doctors who weren't yet killed by specific targeting of them is treating too many patients with severed limbs. Imagine having to get your infected limb cut off in an incredibly painful way because there are no more anesthesia or antibiotics. Jeff, you can't even remain civilized at Walmart on Black Friday. How can you critique how civilized they can be? If anything, they are showing a level of humanity and self-restraint in conditions that would throw the privileged western masses into complete madness. Y'all, wake up. It's not normal to feel okay about this. It's not normal to feel indifferent when mass genocide is happening in real time right now. We have been conditioned to believe in lies that make us feel safe. Guys, we don't live in a safe world. Once you make an effort to see your connection to all of life, you will feel the pain. You will feel that the powers of this world don't value your life or your safety or your freedom. The truth is, being alive is scary. There's no guarantee that you will be safe, but there's still so much to life. We have to accept both the suffering and the joy if we are to ever help this world. Guys, if we don't stop the Palestinians from losing safety, health, and life, who will be there to stop you from losing your safety, your health, and your life? So here are some things you can do to help. Number one, don't stop advocating even when we get a ceasefire. A ceasefire doesn't mean Palestinians will get their basic human rights and the ability to live on their own land in peace and safety. This advocacy is a lifelong commitment. Number two, make an effort to live a less consumerist life. Unfortunately, this genocide is fueled by our involvement in Western systems of profit. For example, most major corporations are profiting off of this genocide. The products you buy, and often the jobs you work, does fund the violence. There's an app called No Thanks that you can use when grocery shopping. It scans barcodes to let you know if the product you are buying funds Izzy Real. But just generally avoiding big name brands also helps a lot. Try to find work in places that are more down to earth and are not directly tied to Izzy Real or consumption. I'm looking at you Google and Amazon. Number three, you don't need a big sphere of influence to advocate about Palestine. Just educating and talking about it to your small group of friends and family does more than you think. I'm not saying to get into a raging argument with all of your family members, but healthy conflict is okay. I don't care if the only person in your life is Grandma Mary with Alzheimer's. You're gonna sit that bitch down and say, Hey Grandma, Israel is a settler colonial state founded on the forced genocide and removal of Palestinians. Oh, okay sweetie. 
Um, would you like tuna casserole for dinner? Don't be afraid to share on social media. It's okay if it makes people uncomfortable and angry. People are gonna have to face this reality eventually. For every person who starts to see the truth about Palestine, it creates a domino effect where that person starts to educate others. Number four, call or email your senators. The US Campaign for Palestinian Rights has a quick link where by putting your information in, they will send you a phone call automatically linking you to your senators. I will leave the link in the description. All you have to do is say where you're from and read the script on the website demanding a ceasefire. One of the reasons the US and different states are now finally talking about a ceasefire is because of the daily pressure people all over the United States have been putting on their senators. This tactic really does work, and especially if you do it consistently. I personally have been making an effort to call my senators every day. It's really not that hard. I'm part of a WhatsApp group where people support each other in calling their senators daily. There's a group for pretty much every state. I will leave a link in the description for joining one. Number five, try to find protests and organized efforts where you live. Your presence does matter and it does help. Number six, you can always donate to reputable human rights agencies who are providing aid to Gaza. If you're afraid that your donations won't make it to Gaza, you can always donate to specific GoFundMes and other donations that are directly linked to families that are being affected by this ongoing genocide. Number seven, finally and most importantly, take care of yourself so you have the energy to make these commitments. Try to find a community of friends online or in person who will support you in your efforts and belief. It can become pretty draining when you feel you are the only one who cares. So thank you guys, I will link donations for Gaza in the description. Please share this video to spread the word. These are just a few things you can do out of the many. I know it feels like these little things don't matter, but at the very least, it plants the seeds in ourselves and others to care about humanity.